I find probability, a little bit of a Marmite topic for many pupils, they either love it or they hate it. But what actually is it? Well, probability can be defined as our ability to predict the chance of something happening. Now, I'm not going to talk about the weather, or indeed horse racing, as these just have too many variables. Instead, I'm going to talk about things with specific outcomes, such as the throw of a coin, the roll of a dice, or die to be correct, or indeed a pack of cards and a card drawn at random. Now, all probability can be placed on a probability line, which ranges from zero at one end to one at the other end. The zero indicating the chances of something happening, well, it will not happen. The one meaning it is certain to happen and everything else falls in between. Well, of a coin, for instance, has two possible outcomes, either heads or tails. So I have a one in two chance of guessing that correctly. In terms of on the probability scale, one half, one out of two, can be placed in the centre from zero to one. Following on from this then, something which has a probability of one in four will be placed there on our probability scale, just as something with a probability, high probability actually, of three out of four would be about there. The roll of a standard dice has six possible outcomes, the numbers one to six. So my ability to predict that correctly is one out of six and that would be placed approximately there on our probability line. A pack of cards actually has lots of different scenarios that you could set. Imagine one card drawn at random. What is the probability of me drawing a red card? And that would either be hearts or diamonds. Well, in fact, half of them are red cards, hearts and diamonds put together, and that would fall at the halfway point. In fact, there's 26 of those cards out of 52. Now, we talk about equivalent fractions, that is actually the same as the equivalent fraction of one half. If, however, we're going to be a bit more specific with our choice of cards and simply say, right, what's the probability of selecting a spade at random? Well, in fact, there are 13 out of the 52 cards which are actually spades. And that, in terms of equivalent fractions, is actually one quarter. So it would fall approximately there on the probability scale. What happens if I combine the outcomes of two different events? The throw of two coins, for instance, has several different outcomes. So if we consider the two coins, this being coin one, this being coin two, I could throw a head followed by another head. I could throw a head followed by a tail. I could actually throw a tail to start with followed by a head. I could also throw a tail followed by another tail. And there are no other possible outcomes. So in fact, there are actually four outcomes when you throw two coins. Head, 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 tail, tail, head, and tail, tail. So my chances of throwing two heads together are actually one out of the four combinations. And my chances are one quarter, one in four. Now, this type of diagram is called a sample space diagram, and it shows all the possible outcomes for that particular event. Something a little bit more complicated. Let's consider rolling two dice and creating the sample space diagram for this. I could throw a one followed by a two, or indeed that same one followed by a three, and then a four, and so on. And our sample space diagram will show all of the possible outcomes. This is our sample space diagram for throwing two dice. I've shown the individual scores in each box for the red and the green dice, but we can easily add the totals up. In fact, there are 36 of these different outcomes shown on this diagram. So how can we use this diagram? Well, let's consider an example. We would like to know what is the probability of scoring seven with two dice. Well, in fact, seven is scored here with a six and a one, five and a two, four and a three, three and a four, two and a five, and a one and a six. So now my total of seven is shown with the highlighted squares. And in fact, there are six of them. Six out of the 36 possible combinations would fall approximately there on my probability scale. And in fact, in terms of equivalent fractions, is it about one six? If I'm honest, it's probably a little more that way. I hope that helps.